Its well-known music has certain therapeutic benefits, helping people overcome numerous obstacles. In this week's Arts and Entertainment feature, we meet a jazz drummer who, in spite of his blindness, was in the border city leading a workshop for high school students. Jared Lampau has more. Meet Carl Shonick and the members of his band. Carl has been playing music for 15 years, overcoming many hurdles, including his vision, which is less than 10%. He's been to the Border City before, but this is the first time he's been able to conduct a full-day workshop with Holy Rosary students benefiting. We're having them feel it, but we also want them to internalize it. So we want them to know all the details without having to look at the page, without having to concentrate so hard that it becomes natural. It's second nature. With a couple albums already under his belt, he has been nominated for a few awards. Our band has been nominated for two Western Canadian Music Awards in the Jazz Recording of the Year category. So that was in uh, last October 2011. Uh, and the previous uh, October as well. And those were our first two CDs that came out, and one of those, one plus four. Out like this, there's figure eights. I go like this. One youngster got some hands-on training from the workshop. He suggested to learn the melodies, listen to the melodies, sing the melodies, so then I could then know them and then interact better with the band. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News. Making Lloydminster better is a big part of what the Chamber of Commerce is all about. Many of its members have their ear to the ground about the important issues our community face. This week's Chamber Chatter takes a closer look at how they impact change. The Policy Resolution Committee meets once a month, but a lot more time is put into improving the border city. We look at all different kinds of issues. It's the political part is a bit of a misnomer. It's not just about politics. We deal with health care, education, and all kinds of issues that are important to the community. Airport improvements, licensing of doctors, and attracting newcomers are just a few from a long list of issues the committee hopes to tackle in the next year. What we try to do is we come up with sort of our top 10 action items so that we have something really tangible that we want to work on for the year. Um, and, and that way too we're always keeping current with the changing needs of the community and that sort of thing. We've looked at things like labor shortage, we've looked at housing shortages. And from there the group pushes for resolution. Not only do we meet with our civic officials, and so we have a meeting upcoming in June with our elected officials from the City of Lloydminster, but we also um, create opportunities where we have our MLAs and our MPs right here within our, our sort of our chamber offices, I guess, where we can dialogue with them. Um, it's, it's a give and take in that we provide them with some really valuable feedback and, and vice versa, they provide us back with that. The committee is made up of chamber board members and citizens passionate about making a difference in Lloydminster. Lloydminster. Chamber Chatter is brought to you by the Lloydminster Chamber of Commerce. Achieve results, a stronger voice. Matt joins us now with a quick look at sports and a big day for Bantam hockey. Yeah, the WHL held its uh, Bantam draft and uh, yeah, like you said, a big day for the Lloydminster Bantam Heat trying to get drafted. We have a story coming up in sports. Stocks and oil prices brought to you by Spectrum Restoration. When disaster strikes, don't wait. Call the professionals at Spectrum Restoration, a certified member of the Canadian Disaster Restoration Group. Canola prices have had their ups and downs in the past year, but recent optimism has led to an interesting setup heading into the growing season. In this week's Agriculture Report, Peter Quinlan tells us what that will mean for area farmers. The greatest surprise of the winter has been the canola prices. After a slow start to the winter, canola prices have since skyrocketed. Uh, prices started to improve during the winter and have just continued to improve and improve going forward. The major thing that caused that is the uh, South American crop was drought reduced. The combination of these international factors with a high demand for canola brought both strong canola prices and basis levels, something almost unheard of. And it's really unusual to have both a strengthening basis and a strong futures market at the same time. 
And that's what happened this winter. So we had an excellent run on this market. While 2012 has been marked with good canola prices so far, Blue expects area farmers will be keeping their eyes to the sky as we head into the growing season to see if the trend will continue. It's, it's soon going to become a weather market and uh, the market will be reacting to every weather forecast. So while most local grain growers have yet to seed their fields, a recently released report from Statistics Canada suggests an increase of farmland will be seeded this season because areas such as this that have been flooded with water have been able to dry up. The report also indicates that more canola will be planted this year than ever before. Uh, the canola acreage so far is suggested to be about 20 and a half million acres. That would be a new record and compares with last year at about 18 and a half million acres. Blue says because of the expectation of increased supply, lower canola prices are projected for the fall. Nonetheless, fall canola prices are quite strong in that 12 to 13 dollars a bushel range across the prairies. And with such a strong canola outlook, Blue suggests farmers consider price protection on these fall prices. A person can buy a put option on the market and that will uh, enable that person to have price protection from downside risk while having the ability to take advantage of higher prices should that come about. Currently the cost for a put option is around 45 to 50 cents a bushel. Peter Quinlan, New Cap News. The Agriculture Report is brought to you by Novelin Brothers in Lloydminster. Find the best in versatile and Kubota machinery. Novelin Brothers, serving you better. That's your Ag News for today. Peter will be back with weather after the break.